Hi everybody, how are you today? Nice to see you all here. Anyways, my name is Jack and welcome back to my YouTube channel everybody. Woohoo! So in this video, I just want to talk to you all about just something unusual that's happening right now. And it's a pandemic that's been going around for the past few weeks or so. And it's uh, called the coronavirus, also known as COVID-19. And lots of people have been getting it lately. Well, maybe I shouldn't say lots of people, but there are certain people that are getting it. And it can affect certain people, you know, if they're not being careful. So what I would do in that situation, if I were you, you know, like just for your safety, like make sure you wash your hands for 20 seconds. Make sure you take lots of hand sanitizer, you know, because it will kill all the germs away if you do both of those things. And make sure you, and absolutely, absolutely, please make sure you're not doing anything dangerous to your face, like touching it, putting your hand in your nose, or maybe itching your ear, maybe. You know, just any of that sort of stuff to your face can be really dangerous, especially during this time of coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, like I mentioned. So... Also, I just also want to mention in that note um, that uh, traveling, you know, right now is not the best, you know, because there have been airports that have been really crazy, like especially the one in my location right now is really crazy because there's like, like tons of people packed in an airport and it's just insane, you know, it's like, what is, what is going on, you know, because I mean, if people are sick or something or have coronavirus, then they should stay home, you know? Or, you know, or if they're just sick in general, they should stay home indeed. You know, because, you know, if, you know, because they say if, if you're not feeling good, then stay home. You know, because right now in this unusual time of COVID-19, it's really dangerous to go out to public outings because they say you can only do takeout or you know, or delivery, and this is food related, not airport related this time, you know, and they've been saying on the news that, you know, travel to Europe, like I was saying, you know, has been banned for 30 days, you know, and I don't blame them, you know, it's dangerous to go to another place on an airplane, you know, if people have coronavirus, you know, and I'm telling you, that stuff, you know, is serious, you know, I, so you guys have to be careful of that, you know, because other people can be affected by it, you know? Well, well, yeah, I mean, certain people can, but I'm not sure about a lot of people, but there are certain people that can be affected by it, you know, if you're, like, too close to them. Like, say, like, you know, you're talking to one of your friends and they, like, you touch them without washing your hands. Please be careful of that because you can really get them sick and then they might have to stay home, you know? So... I mean, but still, I mean, you can get like fist bumps or elbow bumps and stuff, but just make sure, you know, you're being careful of that sort of stuff just because, you know, like you don't want to do it without washing your hands or, or at least ha taking hand sanitizer, you know, just because, you know, your hands are obviously made of germs if you're not, you know, taking care of them, you know, by washing them with soap or, or something like that, you know, because I'm not going to lie, you know. China, you know, I mean, China was the one that did have coronavirus, but I mean, if you're like a U.S. citizen, you know, I mean, our, some of the people that are trying to help it is not helping right now. So, I mean, I mean, they said it's supposed to be going on for at least three and a half weeks or so, but they mostly said two weeks for the coronavirus. So I'm really hoping that things will get back to normal, like somewhere in the mid or late April or maybe somewhere in May. Because, you know, like, I'll, like I want to make sure I don't miss, like, you know, tons of school. I mean, I don't mind missing, like, two or three weeks of school. But it, but some, but somewhere on the note of school they've been saying about missing it is, you know, like, they're predicting, like, eight weeks. But, but seriously, though, I think eight weeks seems ridiculous. There's no way they could do, like, eight weeks of school, you know, eight weeks of missing school. Because... You know, I want to be able to graduate, you know, in May since I'm a senior in high school right now, you know. And I just wanted to make sure it doesn't affect, you know, me trying to graduate, you know. Because, you know, I've, I've been in school, you know, like since last week, you know. I mean, I don't mind missing like this week and next week since we're off on spring break. 
you know, and possibly the week after that, I only miss you like three weeks, but like eight weeks seems ridiculous though, because that means I won't be able to graduate and then they might have to change the graduation date, which I am really hoping they don't do that, you know, so I mean, and I hope the same thing for you guys too, you know, I hope like, you know, you and your families are safe, you know, from the coronavirus because it could really, you know, be taken seriously if you're not careful, you know. And I know there's been problems in the past with certain flu symptoms and there's been other problems in the past with like certain stuff that happens, you know, in society sometimes. But this one, I tend to find a little unusual, you know, just because like, not only are the airports crowded and that you can only do take on delivery in restaurants, but, but some of the stores including Costco and possibly maybe Target, I don't know which stores, but some of those stores include, you know, have some items that are running a little bit low and just a little slow just because of the coronavirus, you know, just going around right now. And that, you know, you, and they said, you know, you can't have like tons of people, you know, going around you because, you know, you could get that other person sick, you know. So just make sure you're just being careful when you go out to stores or at least you travel to someplace, you know, anywhere in the USA or outside the country because, you know, you could really get some other people sick if you're not being safe, you know. So I'm not, I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just stating a fact, you know, that, you know, you want to take, make sure you're be, being aware and careful of these things, you know, because, you know, COVID-19, you know, is, well, is kind of dangerous, you know, so you want to be careful. I mean, it's not like you can't do anything social related. It's just a matter of fact of you trying to, you know, stay safe while you're being social, you know, with friends, you know, or just anything related to like outside related, you know, or something like that. But don't worry. I mean, you can still socialize with your friends and stuff. Like, you know, maybe it might, maybe you just can't have like, you know, 100 people or something, or at least like 90 something people, but you can definitely have like, you know, at least groups of 10 or five, maybe, but, but it's period, that's it. You know, you can't have like, you know, like a whole like pack or group, you know, if you're going to be social, you know, because just during this time, you know, you want to make sure that, you know, nothing bad happens to you guys. And especially it doesn't happen to me either, you know, because, you know, I don't think anyone's have, have, have had to gone through this dangerous, you know, thing right now with cable of 19, you know? So, like I said, you know, if you are traveling somewhere or if you are doing social, anything social related, just please be careful and wash your hands and take lots of hand sanitizer and please make sure you're not doing anything, you know, gross related to your face because, you know, that sort of stuff, you know, is, is meant to be taken, you know, I don't want to say the word, but, you know, but a little seriously right now, you know, because, you know, there's other people, like I said, you know, if you get too close to them or something, they could be affected by it, you know. So, like I said, you know, please make sure you and especially your families are safe and maybe your loved ones, like your girlfriend, or your boyfriend are safe too. So, yeah, I mean, but don't worry, you can still do some of the things you like, like being social and going out, but just make sure you're washing your hands or taking hand sanitizer and being careful with your face too, you know. I mean, it's not like you can't touch your face, but there's just certain parts of your face that you want to be careful when there's this unusual disease going on right now from China to the U.S. and anywhere in the world right now, you know, COVID-19. So, like I said, you know, just do some of the, you can just, you can keep doing at least some of the things you like, like, like I said, being social and stuff. But just be careful, you know, like make sure, like you can still give them, like I say, you can give them fist bumps, you can do elbow bumps, like when you're, you know, congratulating them or something. But just make sure you're washing your hands and taking hand sanitizer, okay? All right, yeah. No, don't worry, you are the best, and I really hope the best for you during this unusual time. And like I said, I really hope this dangerous, you know, disease like KBO-19, also known as coronavirus, which is mainly cold right now, obviously, you know, hopefully it goes away somewhere in mid or late April or maybe somewhere in May, like the first week of May, which I'm sure it will. But, you know, we just got to be patient and do the best we can. So don't panic. You know, we just got to do the best we can. That's all. So just when you just warn you guys, you know.
and that's just because I care about you all, you know, I, and I don't want anything bad to happen to you because I'd be sad if something bad happened to you, you know, and I'm just trying to keep you safe, you know, that's all, nothing, you know, terrible or anything, just trying to keep you all safe. So, anyways, um, that's all I gotta say for this video, but thank you so much for watching, and if you did find this video helpful, or at least you enjoyed it, in that matter, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe to my channel, so that way I can get more subscribers, and make sure you leave me a comment down in the comment section below to tell me what you thought of this video, or at least tell me if you enjoyed this video, or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Anyways, um... That's all I got for this video for now. So hope you guys stay safe from the KVO-19 coronavirus. Hope you all have a wonderful and safe and healthy spring break. And I will see you all next time. Bye. Peace out.